So we are going to discuss about drawing the velocity diagram of a falling mechanism and uh, we have provided an intermediate point E and an offset point F such that we can extend our studies to those points too. Anyway, the basic concept that we should have is <coughs> suppose first to look at the ling AB. The ling AB at a point, at a uh, given instant, we can say that this AB is a link such that it is rotating about a point A. So, if you are looking at B, we can see that this B is rotating about point A. So, A anyway is fixed, that means the velocity of A is 0 and the velocity of B, B, B will be perpendicular to the radius because it is a rotational motion. Similarly, look at BC, link BC. When we are looking at link BC and if we arc in the real situation B and C are moving but if we are considering B is to be at rest that is if we are considering B is to be at rest actually this B, B will be having a velocity B, B, C will be having a velocity B, C but we are considering that B is at rest such that the velocity of B will be 0 velocity of C will be B, C minus B, B so in that case we can say that the link BC is moving in such a way that the B is acting at the center and the C is rotating about the point. Then also the relative velocity will be perpendicular to this line BC. So by using this concept we are going to draw the velocity diagram. So in the velocity diagram we already know that the point A and point D are having zero velocity. That means the point and they are also the same link. So, A and B, D are shown by the same point as shown in figure, this point represent A and D. Now, we have velocity of A, B, velocity of B will be perpendicular to A, B. That means, if we are having a velocity of B something like this, if it is rotating in this way, the velocity of B will be in this direction. So, if the link A, B is rotating with a angular velocity omega, then omega into this much distance, let us call it r. Omega into r will be the velocity of V, B. And that will be perpendicular to A, B. So, what we do is, we will draw a line, we will draw a line through A, whose magnitude is equal to this omega r, and that will be perpendicular to A, B. So, we have and we will denote this as B. So, the peculiarity of this AB is this magnitude of AB is equal to omega r and this AB represents the velocity of B and this AB is perpendicular to link AB. That's okay. So, we have to be. Now, we have to obtain point C. <coughs> anyway, we, we already said that the relative velocity of C can be uh, said to be perpendicular to BC. So, when we are in the velocity diagram, when we are representing the velocity of C, it will be perpendicular to BC, but we do not know the direction, magnitude, etc. So, what we do is, since we know B, we will draw a line that is perpendicular to BC and passing through this B. So, this line will be perpendicular to the link BC. But we do not know the direction and the magnitude. So, we will keep the line as such. Now, we are going to look at point C. So, in case of point C2, the velocity of C will be perpendicular to DC. The velocity will be perpendicular to C. But we do not know the direction. But anyway, it will pass through D. The velocity of in velocity diagram, this velocity will pass through D. So, what we do is, the velocity of CD, the link CD or velocity of C is, it will be perpendicular to the light CD and it will pass through this D point. So, it will be something like this. So, this B, the light passing through B and light passing through D meet at a point called C. So, that means, this BC is the velocity of this link and this AC, no, DC is the velocity of this link. So, we are able to obtain the point C. Now, 
if we are to find the velocity of this link BC, then this is the velocity VBC. Now similarly, if we are to find the velocity of this link, then it is the point. Now the other thing is, if we want to find the velocity of C, we know it is a relative velocity diagram. So, velocity of C, VC minus VA is short by this line AC or is equal to VC minus VD since A and D both are stationary. This line shows, the magnitude of this line shows the actual velocity of C. Now similarly, the magnitude of this line shows actual velocity of B. Now, the intermediate point. For intermediate point, we already know B and E. So, measure those lines and find B, E by E, C. So, we will get some value. What we want to do is, then uh, also find B by, say, B, C. B by B, C. So, we will get a value. So, now, uh, this, actually, this is not needed. In a factor found 2, there is no problem. We can proceed with this only, this also. So, take B by B, C. Now what we have to do is, B by BC we will get a value, that is equal to, suppose say E is here, so that will be equal to this B by BC, that is B by BC. This BC we know, this much length, and capital B by capital BC we know from the given figure, from which we can find this small b, if we are able to find this small b, by that small b, we will be able to plot the point E. So, plot the point E. So, now we have obtained point E in the velocity diagram. So, the velocity of this point E will be V minus V A because this V A is 0 as A is stationary point. So, V minus V A is the relative velocity of A with E with respect to A. That is V itself. That means this is that point. This is that line. The magnitude of this line shows the velocity of E with respect to A. Now we want to find the F. For finding F, it is easy. The velocity of F will be perpendicular to this CF. So that means F will pass through C. So from C draw a line perpendicular to this line. From C draw a line perpendicular like this. Similarly, if we are considering this B of link, this velocity of F will be perpendicular to F and will pass through B. So, perpendicular to F and pass through B, something like this. So, we are able to take point F. They will, uh, they will, these two lines will intersect at a point F. Now, to find the velocity of F, velocity of F is equal to V F minus V A. So, by joining these these two points, this is the velocity of the actual velocity of F. This is how we draw the velocity diagram and from which we find the corresponding velocity of points given in the figure. Thank you.